Mr. Cheese Pizza! <laughs> when it comes to leftover pizza, we've all tried to cram that big bulky pizza box in the fridge, even though there's only a few slices left in it. Sharks, meet the pizza pack. Everyone always says you get a nice boost in sales when you appear on Shark Tank. Because anywhere from 3 to 7 million US people see your product on TV for completely free, plus millions more around the world. So I was curious to know exactly how much money these companies make from this so-called boost in sales. So I did a bit of digging and I was able to find a couple companies that were due to appear on Shark Tank Season 14 before the episodes actually aired. One of the companies that I found was the perfect pizza pack company that you just saw the video of and I placed the order with them right before the episode aired on Shark Tank and then a second order 24 hours after the episode aired so that I could work out exactly how many conversions does 3 million USA TV viewers actually drive. The numbers are actually pretty interesting so keep watching. So my first order number was 1127 and then about 24 hours after the episode aired it was 1862. So if you do the math, they did exactly 735 orders in 24 hours after appearing on Shark Tank. And assuming a $28 average order value, that equals $23,100 in revenue. And I don't know about you, but that sounds like a pretty low number for me, especially when we're talking about millions of high quality USA viewers for essentially a 20 minute ad for the product. So I decided to wait another two days and just a couple minutes ago, I placed a third order with them. And now the numbers started to look much better. My new order number was 4,601, which basically means they did another 2,600 orders since I last checked up on them. So that basically means in 72 hours after debuting on Shark Tank, they did about $100,000 in revenue, which is pretty impressive given their 80% net margins and basically zero ad spend. So they basically netted six figures from appearing on Shark Tank. Now I don't know exactly when the Shark Tank hype will start to die down, I'm thinking next week because that's when the next episode airs so the replays for this one might stop, but let's see in one week time what the order number is like and I'll tell you guys in the comment section. Now if you didn't watch the episode, Mark ended up offering $1.5 million for the entire company, which is a bit crazy because they only did 250 k in sales in about 5 months, which is nothing too impressive. And even more weirdly, the founder decided to turn it down and accept $100,000 for 13% from Laurie. Now I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this exact same product or at least something very similar a long time ago. And this is basically like a classic dropship product that would sell for a couple months with a really nice creative and then eventually die down. Even on Amazon.co.uk, I can see this random Chinese brand selling this product. So I really have no idea why Lori invested. The issue with products like this that are low ticket is that even if they net 80%, it only equals $15 to $16 per sale. And when you're talking about paid ads and scaling aggressively, it's very hard to stay profitable when you can only afford to spend $15 to $16 to acquire a customer. Unless the plan is to launch other supporting SKUs which they can upsell on this product, then I really don't know what Lori's strategy to profitability here, unless it's something like retail, in which case I have no idea about that. In general though, I think the founder did get a bit lucky with this deal because there was a live audience for this episode and they were actually chanting Lori's name to complete the deal, so that might have influenced that a bit. One big thing though is that this guy's website actually looks pretty bad. If you take a look at it, like this guy must have known for several months that he's about to appear on Shark Tank, yet the website is still pretty pretty rubbish. So he could have generated a ton more in sales if he actually optimized the website. I'm sure he missed out on a bunch of revenue just because of this silly mistake. But if you want more Shark Tank videos just like this one, then make sure to follow because I've managed to find a couple companies that are about to appear on Shark Tank. I'm going to place an order on all their different websites and I'll see exactly how much sales each of these companies generate just by appearing on Shark Tank. I can tell instantly when something is a hero or a zero, and this is a hero. I love it. I want to be a part of it. I want to take the ride with you. I'll write you a check for $1.5 million to buy your company right this very second. You get a million point five. You can go invent everything and anything you ever dreamed of. Appreciate that offer. That's a ton of money, and that's fantastic. But I think I can make a ton of money with this with Lori. I'd love to take the deal.